ever have one of those days when everything that possibly can go wrong does go wrong? Well, that's exactly what happens in the show that's now playing at the Florida Studio Theater. It's called The Play That Goes Wrong. And if some of those stunts in the play do go wrong, somebody's going to get hurt. And that just might be our next guest, actor Jordan Onquist. Jordan, you play Max in this show. Now. I do. <laughs> so tell me about Max. Give me a rundown of what this show's all about. Sure. Um, well, the Max is a, an amateur actor, as are all of the um, uh, characters in a play that goes wrong. And we're, we're proudly putting on the play um, The Murder at Haversham Manor. But the real story of the play is these actors trying to get through that murder mystery while everything that could possibly go wrong goes wrong. You know, s set pieces falling apart, props not showing up, people missing entrances, stagehands having to go on and perform roles. It's um, chaos and fun. <laughs> and it was first performed in a pub. That's where it all started. Yeah, it started with a group called Mischief in um, England, in London. Mm -hmm. They were students and they were putting it on in, uh, in a pub, probably from their own experiences of you know, mishaps on stage. And um, it was seen by J.J. Abrams, the producer, and he helped them expand it into um, a full production, which was on Broadway. And it's now been in 35 countries, six continents, and it's um, brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. So it's really great. Well, now, I know you're a professional actor from New York, <laughs> but I have to say, Max, the guy you're playing, sometimes <laughs> he's not a very good actor. Yeah, it's a real stretch for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Max is, is very eager and excited to be performing. It's his first time in front of an audience, so as soon as he sees the, um, <laughs> the crowd of people staring at him, he um, is overwhelmed with excitement and everything that they enjoy, he wants to enjoy too, and it's really a <laughs> so fun to play Max because he kind of gets to break all the theater rules in his, you know, enjoyment of <laughs> what's happening. Well, he might like that, but some of the stunts you do could be really dangerous. How do you know you're safe? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's a lot of practice. Um, we have a uh, fight choreographer, Paul uh, Nicholas, who helped choreograph all of the fights and all of the falls and all of the mishaps when people hit their heads. And, you know, we practice these, these kind of things a lot before we're in front of an audience. And then some, like I have a sword fight, for instance, where we, we practice that every day before the show in order to make sure it's safe. And we'll look at things throughout the performance if there's anything that needs to be looked at just to make sure everyone stays safe. This still seems <laughs> a little scary to me. It now, is. we came over to the theater and we watched a rehearsal and I had my fingers crossed the whole time that nothing was go going to go wrong. So <laughs> let's take a look at this. This is a hilarious show, but it looks like it's very painful for the actors. Can you really do all these things without getting hurt? That's a good question. Uh, we'll find out at the end of the run if we can do it without getting hurt, but we, we're taking a lot of steps just to make sure everything's kind of safe, and, and FST's really been behind us to make sure that we're doing it right and not getting hurt. It's an easy step-by-step -step process that really helps us uh, mitigate disaster. So when you hit the floor, does it hurt? Uh, no, uh, usually what ends up happening um, is I will try and cushion my fall with, <laughs> with my arm. Can you do it slowly, step by step? So sure. first you cross your arm. Sure, so uh, usually we have an actor down here, his name is Scott Cote, and he's amazing because he's, uh, he's been on the national tour. And then I got my good friend John Long, we go back really far away. And uh, they'll sort of like kind of act like they're gonna try and pick me up this mm -hmm. way, the normal way, and carry me over. So I try to get up like this, and once they realize they can't pick me up, they start to try and roll me over. So the more I can kind of give a little suspense that that's not gonna be the way that I wanna go, and then I can just, oh, and are that's you, that step. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, we've got plenty of pads. I'm. Oh my I'm all right. goodness! And you do this over and over. I do this over and over. Nine shows this week. Are you sure that doesn't hurt? <laughs> yeah, he's he's pretty good at that one. And you can see in that he's got his, he's got padding on. Obviously, that's covered by um by, by costumes in the performance. But that's pretty mild compared to some of the the things that unfold <laughs> over What's the night. What's the scariest one? Ooh, I don't know. We got to keep something for uh, people to be surprised oh. with. But there's there's quite a few surprises <laughs> in that show. <laughs> so. One thing we know is when you're doing a live show, anything could go wrong. Absolutely. So you guys always have to be on the watch for that, too, right? <laughs> there is. Yeah. Some you know sometimes things go wrong that weren't supposed to go wrong, and we find a way to move through and 
hopefully the audiences don't know. Knock on wood. Oh, this is so <laughs> exciting. Thank you so much. We Thank are you. so, we can't wait to see this and we'll keep our fingers crossed for you. Good <laughs> Thanks, luck. Linda. The play that goes wrong is at the Florida Studio Theater through March 27th. You can find tickets and information at floridastudiotheater.org.